day-to-day -day construction workers often find themselves disadvantaged when it comes to labor rights. It's difficult for them to enroll in the National Pension Program, receive health insurance, or any other work-related benefits. Their conditions stand in stark contrast from workers at conglomerate firms. Take a look at their situation. This is a labor market in Seoul, where people gather in search of employment. Nearly 200 show up every day, but less than half find a job. Even if the laborers work hard, joining an occupational pension or insurance plan is very unlikely. In fact, pension and health insurance membership of daily construction workers is under 10 percent, or less than half of other part-time irregular workers. Also, due to the practice of receiving wages according to the work's outcome instead of spent time, construction workers rarely get extra pay for overtime even if they work long hours. There is also a structural problem where daily workers at the very end of the labor chain are victimized because labor costs decrease toward the bottom of the chain in a multi-level subcontracting structure. 저가 수주 경쟁을 벌어다 보니까 공사비가 낮아졌고 그것을 약자한테 전가하는 구조의 관행이 꽤 오래 정착되었습니다. Experts say that laws and regulations must be urgently improved, considering the unique nature of construction sites and day-to-day -day labor, and aimed at better protecting the rights of workers.